Hello and welcome to the Illinois Association of Park Districts podcast. I'm Wayne Utterback, Director of Communications and Digital Content, and today I'm joined by Jeff Cohen, who happens to be one of our first place winners in our Give Us Your Best Shot photo contest. I'd like to thank you, Jeff, for just taking some time out of your day of uh, taking photos and, and working with the uh, Park District over there to uh, talk with us a little bit. No, yeah, my pleasure. My pleasure. I, I'm uh... Uh, number one, I'm, I've been very honored over the last couple of years by winning some awards and and uh, uh, being able to rep represent the city of Highland Park and and the park district that that uh, have been nice enough to hire me on on lots of various assignments and uh, it's a pleasure to speak with you as well. Wonderful. Now, uh, uh, now, from what I understand, you own your own business, Jeff Cohen Creative. Can Correct. you just tell me a little? Can you tell me a little bit about your business? Yeah, I, um, I've had my business, well, I've been in the field of photography and in graphics and magazine work. Uh, I've done video production. I, I've always been in the visual field, <clears throat> but I opened my studio here in Highland Park about 11 years ago. Um, I do a lot of family portraits. I do a lot of corporate headshots. Uh, I do uh, events. Um, I do a lot of dealings with law firms Well, I'll go into the city, set up my cameras, do uh, corporate photos for them. Uh, I don't do weddings. Uh, I don't do bar and bat mitzvahs. Uh, uh, those, I, I leave those to the professionals that, that, that that's their bailiwick. And it's never been my uh, calling. I respect those that do that, but it's, <laughs> it's not my thing. Right. Totally, I, I, also, totally I also, yeah, I also do a lot of fine artwork. Um, uh, I've been in several, uh, done uh, several photo um, uh, art shows during the, during the summer months. Um, I'm not doing it this year. Uh, my travels have been such that I've been doing a lot of traveling. So I haven't been in one place at any given time, but I might <clears throat> again do it next year as well. So I, I, I wear various hats. Let's put it that way. All right. Now, uh, now, as I mentioned before, you were the uh, first place winner in our wildlife category mm -hmm. uh, this year. Uh, what can you tell me just about that shot in particular? I think it was titled uh, Fall Watercolors. Right. It was um, it was actually done in the area that that uh, that used to be Highland Park Country Club. There used to be a golf course and Highland Park uh, several years ago designated as a as, as a preserve and basically closed the golf course and turned it into a preserve with paths, uh, walking paths and a lot of marshland. And they've had me out there quite often taking pictures of the wildlife and also people that enjoy it, walk the trails, et cetera, et cetera. And it was early Actually, it wasn't. It was late in the day because I know exactly where this. I, needless to say, I'm out there a lot. I know where the sun's going to go. I know, <laughs> you know all the little angles and stuff. And it was a pond that I knew that was frequently frequented by geese. Um, and the timing, like so many other things, when we all know this about photography, especially nature photography, that the lighting was just right. That it was backlit, the reflections on the pond caught the, the leaves in the background, and I caught my shot. I, I have to admit, I, I have a, a, a very uh, strong graphic sense in my, uh, in my work. Uh, my father, I inherited from my father. My father was a graphic designer, um, was in the ad agency business for many, many years. Uh, to be honest, was a terrible photographer, but he was an amazing <laughs> graphic artist. And I think he passed that graphic sense, that that uh, ability to compose a picture to me, even though he was never able to capture it on film. Um, so when I look at images or when I look at scenes, I always have a pretty good sense. Especially, I have a you know, understanding of, of my lenses and what they can do and what lens I should be doing, where I should put like that particular picture, the, the 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 goose was over on the left side of the frame, which allowed the reflection to be lower in the lower, and it just it composed itself. And um, I'm uh, I, I when I'm asked about my work, I have to admit that it's uh, I have a, I have a pretty good design sense, I mean, and I and I like to crop in the viewfinder. I I'm not I I like to to produce a finished image other than a little tweaking in Photoshop, but as far as the actual cropping of an image, 
whenever I'm doing, even when I'm shooting, a, when I'm taking a portrait or a, of a, an indiv individual, I rarely crop. It's always cropped in, in the lens. All right. Now, uh, how did it feel when you, uh, when you found out that you'd won first place? Oh, it was, you know, it, uh, as I said before, I've won a couple over, a few over, but this one I think was really special for me. Um, I particularly like this image. It was one of those that I, you know, when I sent it into, to, uh, um, into the park district after the day that I edited the film and sent it in, I, I put an extra asterisk to, so they made <laughs> special attention to it. Um, but it clearly is an honor. I mean, I know there's lots of other terrific photographers out there up and down the state and, and in various areas of, of, of the state. Uh, um, you know, the truth is here in Highland Park, uh, it's, we don't have a lot of nature roaming around, so you really have to go searching for it. But <laughs> now that we have this, what's called the preserve, this new area, um, it, is, it is turning, uh, having a lot of wildlife flock to it because it's safe, um, it's natural, there's, uh, you know, it's, I, I think they feel secure there. Um, so it worked out just fine. Now, you'd mentioned that the photo was submitted to the Park District of Highland Park. Is there something about that Park District that you love, something that draws you to it that uh, that you perhaps want to highlight? They, they give me um, a pretty much free reign. Um, at, at, however, at times there are specific needs that they have. Um, but as far as specifically the the preserve, uh, I can, if the, if the, light and the cloud formation looks good, go out, uh, take some pictures. Likewise at the, the golf course uh, that I do a lot of work for here at, at, in Highland Park. So um, they're a great client. I, I love the people. They're, uh, they're very talented. The, the website, each, the, the website, all the collateral material they put together, they're getting more into video, uh, which I'm not doing, but at the same time, it really looks sharp. And I think it, it it's attracting a, 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 young, a younger audience that want to get involved with the park district and take advantage of all the opportunities and all the events and all the venues that we have. So they're, they're a great client. I, I really enjoy working with them. Now, I was uh, looking back over the past few years of our photo contest and I noticed a number of your entries. Uh, there's just so many great images. Uh, what is it that got you into photography? What is your motivating factor for really picking it up and running with it? Um, I, I've always had a an interest in in pictures. Uh, I grew up in, in an age where, and unfortunately, in my my family life, my parents subscribed to a lot of magazines. I grew up with Life. I grew up with Life, Life Magazine, Look Magazine, Saturday Evening Post, uh, National Geographic. And I was just drawn to them as a kid. I, in fact, I remember being often reprimanded by my parents because I, I had a, I, I like to clip pictures. I mean, I, <laughs> why, I don't know, but I like to clip special pictures. And I had little little envelopes for them. And I would sometimes get to the magazines before my parents had read them, which needless <laughs> to say, didn't go over very well. Oh, um, no. <laughs> yeah, as you can imagine. Um, but I've just always been drawn to the visual arts. Uh, I also like to write. I'm a, I'm a fairly good writer. Um, in fact, I, of all of these, I studied uh, I was in the journalism. I went to Syracuse University. I, I actually was in the journalism school. I studied advertising. I studied to be a copywriter. And I actually had a job to go to New York City right out of when I graduated to, to work at a big agency. And I, uh, to make a long story short, I decided to turn it down. I decided I wasn't ready to go to work right away. So I bummed around the country, picked up a camera. Um, and as they say, uh, the rest is history. Um, but um, I've just always been drawn to the visual arts, uh, and uh, again, again, possibly because of my dad and his his eye and his creativity. But um, it's been my career, and I hope to do the the wonderful thing about being a photographer or anybody in the visual arts. You can really do it forever. Uh, I'm I'm I have many friends who are 
envious of me that are in other professions that once they're done with that profession, there, there, there isn't a, a second life to it. And, and I'm certainly, whether it's a second or even a third life, I can, you know, as long as my health is good and I can get up, up and around, I'm going to continue to take pictures and, and enjoy it. All right. Now, uh, speaking of enjoying photography, is there something particular about parks and recreation that you really feel lends itself to photography? But barring the the nature element of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think they're because of their ability to get, from what I understand, really good exposure through the their their various marketing, all the, the marketing that you do, all the, the websites that are involved, all the other collateral material that that you uh, that you produce lends itself to, you know, going out and, you know, I've got someplace I can show my work. So I'm going to go out and really do a bang up job. I'm going to sit at that one spot for the next hour and a half until the sun is just about right, or that goose comes into play or that <laughs> deer wanders by. Um, because I know it, there, there is an audience for that picture. There is a venue to display it. So I think that's terrific. Now, uh, do you have any particular type of photo that you like taking the most? Is there any sort of thing that you you find is more enjoyable than the rest? Um, I like the balance in my work. Um, I like to be. I like working with people. I like uh, directing people, uh, families. I have a a big family that I'm, I'm photographing on Monday, uh, and. Uh, I, I've got, it's an outdoor location. I'm, I'm working on some props and things, but I like to compose the picture and, and move people around. I'm very, uh, I, I probably, if I started over in my career, I might've been a, a director, a, TV, a, a movie director, because I have no problem moving people around and I have a pretty good, view. so I like that. At the same time, it's very exhausting. I mean, it's very trying and you're dealing with personalities and you're dealing with egos and you're dealing with you know all these little nuances that people will bring to the party so i need the balance of going out with my cameras where hey i can take whatever picture i want i can do i can look backwards or forwards and use whatever lens and keep it in focus let it go out of focus i am I'm, I'm my own i get in the zone when i'm i'm and when i'm have the ability to go out and then shoot nature photography. So I love that just as much. It gives me that freedom and it balances the other world that I live in. So it's, to answer your question, no, I don't, I really don't have a favorite. Um, I, I enjoy them both. They give me uh, an enormous amount of satisfaction. Um, I get enormous amount of satisfaction when I get a family together that look good, that they're smiling and happy and happy to be together. And I get a great picture that they buy and they're, they're very happy with, they put up on their mantle, et cetera, et cetera. And likewise, when I go out and go to the preserve or go to the beach or go to the golf course and shoot some really beautiful image that really grabs you, that you then use, a park district use, equally satisfying for me. All right, now I have one last question for you, Jeff. What advice would you give to somebody who is was looking into photography and, and wants to capture those images that you've captured before? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what would you tell somebody who's wanting to pick up that camera for the first time? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the advice that I give, and I, I talk to a lot of young people about my work and, and how, that, how I got started and what to do. Uh, my, my words to them are, are to be, A, to be patient. Uh, it doesn't come right away. Uh, you have to be very critical of your own work. Uh, you have to look at the work and, and with all the, the uh, our ability because of the internet to see such a breadth of work of, of other photographers, of, of, of nature photographers, of <clears throat> all the variety of, for somebody getting in into the field, see what everybody else is doing. Um, See how they approach their subject. See how they light a scene. See how they they deal with colors or deal with uh, uh, depth of focus or shutter speed. All the other things. I think it's very important to learn the basics 
of photography to take it off automatic and put it on manual so that you have that control. You know, what the ISO is going to do, what the f stop is going to do, what your shutter speed is going to do, the basics like that. As soon as you get a sense, then you can start to not, not take pictures anymore, but actually create them. Then you are actually creating an image. You're, you're letting that goose in, in, in the middle range stay in focus, but the background goes out of focus and the foreground goes out. How do you do that? Well, you learn how to do that. And I think it takes patience. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a, an amazing field. I think uh, in all honesty, it's, it's a very difficult profession today. Um, one of the reasons being is the omnipresence of the iPhone and everybody taking pictures out there and the iPhone getting better and better now that you can take a picture in raw and, and put it into your into Photoshop and the, and I've done that and I pulled it up and I, I can't, I can't believe the quality. <laughs> Uh, why am I carrying around $10,000 worth of equipment when this little thing in my pocket that I have all the time? So it's, but you still have to have an eye. You still have to have creativity. You still need to be patient. Um, I look at nature photography is it's, it's like going out fishing or going out hunting. Sometimes you're successful. I mean, there are times I go out and I'll spend two or three hours. I'll get a few pictures, but I don't even send them in. They're not, it's, it, it, you know, you're, 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 you need to be critical of your own work. Um, you need to be demanding of yourself. You need to be patient. You need to be willing to get up at before sunrise, um, all those fun things. So for, I mean, those are a lot of topics that I've covered, but that's how I share it with, with young people that come in. Um, Go for it if you really have the passion for it and you got to stick with it. Um, and those that are good, like any other profession, rise to the top and, and can make a decent living and, and have fun with it. I mean, that's the other thing. It's so much fun. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's one of the things I really enjoy about the photo contest in general. We get hundreds of entries from people all throughout the state and they go they go from things just being beautiful to being sometimes strange or sometimes just mind blowing because you can't even fathom how they got the photo in the first place. Yeah. And it's all fun. It's all yeah. so much fun. So yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to talk with me a little bit about photography. And I wanted to personally congratulate you on your Thank award. You. Thank and you. I, encur I encourage you to continue submitting those amazing photos. Oh, I, we love seeing I, them every year. I, I hope to, I'm, I'm waiting for the fall, which I love to photograph late to waiting for the, sun to get a little bit lower the horizon so I can get my clouds and all, everybody knows I'm a big cloud cloud fan I've got to have just the right clouds out there but no I enjoy working with the the certainly with Highland Park and the park district with the bureau with the Illinois Park District or Association um, I've been flattered by the awards I hope to continue to do it and and I'm happy to talk again if you uh, if you want me to share my other insights and, and, and thoughts. I'd be happy to do that. All right. Absolutely. Well, thank you again, Jeff. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, enjoy uh, heading out here in a little bit and taking <laughs> yes. some more photos. It's a little, it's a little <laughs> warm this afternoon, but I'll head out there. All, All right. right. Well, uh, have a great rest of your day. Great. Thanks so much, Wayne. Right. Take care. Thank you, Jeff.